and he just laughed and screamed and went through the walls and the TV and to be honest I crapped myself um, and that was my first my first real kind of uh, attack of, of a demon now for months after this I, I, I tried to you know get on with life I was teaching English um, but it was difficult because this thing was always around and I, I questioned it and I fought it and I, I, I went to temples and got Buddhist monks to pray for me and nothing worked you know um, and I saw some UFOs uh, in Thailand orange ones and they were always like kind of appearing not far from my apartment and uh, I had some kind of strange messages come in at me um, in waves um, and one night uh, this demon was around but there was also these you know other spirits that were good and um, they would encourage me and, and tell me to be strong to be good uh, they, they were saying I'm, I, I'm beautiful um, not to drink you know don't drink Steve and one such spirit came through uh, he was <laughs> he had like a London uh, a Cockney accent and he spoke to me in riddles and rhymes and he came through and he said uh, Steve Steve they've they've trapped us here uh, he, he called them frogs they've trapped us here the frogs they made monsters Steve they're so so clever he told me so so clever and uh, he told me many other things I wrote all these experiences down you know um, and anyway I, I met my wife during this time uh, and in 2004 we came back to Wales um, you know such a relief to get on that aeroplane and get out of that mess I was in you know it was such a, a strange time and I got back home to Wales in the UK and everything calmed down you know um, this demon had f disappeared now I, I, I told my family about it you know and my experiences and they said oh you Steve you know you've done drink and drugs for so long it's probably you know you've damaged your brain and I'm like well to me it was you know much more than that I, I know what hallucinations are okay I, I know what they are um, and this wasn't a an, an hallucination and it was around this time that my memories of when I was a child uh, started to surface strongly um, like you know it was all interlinked you know lizard man uh, demon uh, menacing beings you know so um, over the next few years between 2004 and 2007 I settled down with my wife we, we started good jobs I continued to drink but you know I was not bad in it mostly just enjoying myself um, not sinning too bad but I was not right okay in 2007 I lost my grandfather I was very close to him um, he passed away with a heart attack and it was a shock because you know we, we, we thought he was okay and he he'd had an operation it broke my heart so I started drinking heavy then my grandmother passed away um, she just missed him so much um, I stayed strong I stopped drinking because it's just not helping you know um, but you know we, we we buried my grandmother we, we went to the funeral and within two weeks we had terrible news my sister um, my beautiful sister uh, Juliana she was diagnosed with terminal cancer 
you know, only 37 years old, with uh, three little children, and I, I just couldn't take any more, you know, I, I, I went so angry, um, the rage consumed me, everything from my past came back, it, it compounded everything, and I, I just screamed and shouted at God, you know, if you were there, are you listening to me? And one day I, uh, you know, after losing my job, my car, almost killing myself in the process, um, I hurt my family because of my reaction uh, to my sister's illness. I, uh, I screamed out one day to God, um, mocking him, you know, and I, I was going to kill myself. So I got the tablets and I got the wine and, uh, you know, I was trying to pluck up courage to, to, to end my miserable life. But something stopped me and uh, it was something actually stopped me from killing myself. And that night I, I, I just went to bed, you know, uh, trying to be strong, thinking, well, You've got to be strong for your family. And guess who came back? The demon. Yeah, he came back and appeared above me, tormenting me. He was pressing on my heart. You know, he was mocking me. He was hurting me. He was telling me all the bad things I've done, winding me up. And I just thought, oh, no. You know, not when I'm try my best to to be strong and he mocked me and tormented me and pressed on my heart and I just thought he's, he's gonna kill me this thing you know I don't want to die so the next day I just thought I've had enough of this crap so I went on the internet and I googled you know demons and I went to a few, a few websites uh, I came across an interesting one called Demon Buster Christian website, very very informative, and I, I I could resonate with so much um, information on on there. And it says in in the site, if if you know if you're having trouble with demons, you know if things are affecting you and you, you just can't understand it, 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 you know you you might have demons. And I I just thought yeah you know I I've got a demon. It must be. So it said, you know, if, if if you want help, then Jesus Christ can help you. Now I thought, well, I, I believed that Jesus lived, you know, um, and I believed that he was a very influential uh, spiritual master, teacher, and, you know, I never had bad any bad thoughts about him. I just didn't know what to believe, you know because there's just so many bad witnesses out there and, and the devil has done so well to uh, deceive and to, to lie and to pervert the truth. Um, but it said, you know, if you are sincere in your heart, then cry out to Jesus Christ to come and help you with your demon. Um, and ask him to be your saviour, you know, the, the usual kind of um, prayer that you pray when you put your life in, into Jesus' hands. And I thought, oh, well, <laughs> it's a long shot, but look, I need to try something, you know. So with all my heart, I cried out to Jesus. I, I wept. I cried uh, on my knees begged him to help me and that I would change. <laughs> and that night I, I went to bed and I couldn't sleep very well and I knew the demon was around because I can sense uh, demons around and um, he came back to me tormenting me, pressing on my heart, telling me that I'm going to die in in that year in 2009 uh, obviously I was scared and I'm just 
looking at this thing, you know, hurling abuse at me, aggressive, nasty, horrible thing. Um, and just as I thought, well, you know, my prayer hasn't worked. You know, it's Jesus isn't coming. Just as I thought that thought, a shape of a torso of a man started to manifest um, to the left and above me. And now the demon was around behind to the left. And, and this shape was, was, you know, manifesting in front of both of us. And it became stronger and, and more clear, and the colours were stronger, and within a few seconds, a voice started to come through. And um, it said, uh, Hi Steve, do you want to be saved? And I looked, and as he said that, a rush of energy, of love, bliss, fell over me, and... and the demon was screaming, no, 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 you know, <laughs> he was screaming, and I clicked, and it, I just thought, well, what, is that, is that you, Jesus, you know, and he, I said, yes, I, I, I want to be saved, and he said, okay, now, follow me and watch, will you come with me, and you know when he said that, it was beautiful. Jesus was a coalescing silhouette of colours like orange, yellow, pink, red, gold, silver, you know, blissful energies. He had long hair to his shoulders or further. He had a, a, a quite a, a long, you know, face. And his nose, you know, was, was quite prominent. And I, he, I saw him down to, say, his chest area. And when he said, will you come with me? And I said, yes. The demon screamed on the top of his voice. No, he's mine, he's mine. And when I said yes, the, the pressure I had in Thailand, you know, came back and lifted and Jesus said will you come with me again and I went yes and, and this demon screamed in agony and it was like a layer was being peeled out of my head and it was coming down very slowly every time Jesus said will you come with me and I said yes every time we said that it would come down lower and it was being peeled out of me it came down my face, you know, it, it was very slow, a very slow process. It was a strong demon. Um, it got to my, you know, my my chest, it came down to my stomach. My stomach growled and churned and this demon was screaming, screaming, screaming. And it came down to my crotch area and it was strong there, you know, oppressing me and Jesus it was just so powerful. Uh, my legs started twitching and hurting, and, and, and Jesus said, "Will you come with me? Will you come with me?" And, and every time he said that, it was beautiful. And I just said, "Yes, Lord, yes." And by the time you know, after about half an hour, thirty-five minutes, um, this was three o'clock in the morning. Um, it got to my toes, and my feet were cramped up in in reverse, and it, it wouldn't, it, it was relentless, it didn't want to let go of me, and Jesus just overpowered it every time, and then the last time he said, will you come with me, I said yes, and it popped out of my feet, <laughs> and it went poof, and it f shot across my bedroom, it was uh, a serpent, a, a, a thing, you know, that was in the shape of a serpent, flew off, shot off, as if like an elastic band, poof, just shot out of my body and uh, and Jesus said um, it is done and he is out now um, 